Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Recently, our team involved in some new project to create free STL files for the community. Those miniature designs are based on characters of one of the popular game Dota. In the middle of design, we found out that one of the STL files that we created using Blender were not able to be printed properly. The printer part ends up having some gaps and discontinuity on the surfaces causing the model to be broken. Immediately, we look on the original design SDL model using Blender. The SDL model seems to appear nicely on it. Next, we re-import the SDL model into the slicer Cura. This time, we found out few unusual spots on the Cura interface. Certain parts of the SDL model are being highlighted in red. Normally, the highlighted red color in our Kira settings indicate face down parts that require supports. However, those unusual red spots seem to be on the face up or at least spots that logically doesn't require any support. Coincidentally, those locations are also the exact spot where the defects were found on the printed part. Thus, today we are going to share about the root cause of this failure as well as a very simple solution for it. The root cause of the problem is the meshes of the STL files being messed up. Basically, 3D model surfaces are made up from countless of triangular faces and vertices. By skillfully elaborate and connecting them together, a 3D model designer able to create sophisticated cool looking STL models for us. However, though how skillful a designer is, there will be some imperfections sometimes. If the designer connected vertices wrongly or mistakenly stacks multiple triangular faces at certain spots, this will create bad meshes. It might look perfect to our human eyes, however, computer will never miss out even the slightest imperfect details. The real problem arises when the slicer program notices irregularities in the files. It assumes that the meshes are redundant and will ignore some of them during the slicing process. Thus, the G-code generator will contain the missing parts, gaps, and holes which are not intended by the original design. Ultimately, you will be printing with a bad result like this one. Now we identify the root cause, let us talk about how to solve this problem. To solve the problem, we need to repair the meshes that confuses the slicer program. The repairing are such as reconstructing the model surface, reduce redundant vertices, remeshing and etc. Through some online research, we found out that there are plenty of free downloadable software that could solve the problem. However, most of those applications will require at least a little background knowledge on how to utilize them. Fortunately, we came across with this handy online tool which does the auto repair for us. All we need to do is to upload and re-download the SDL once the program has done with the repairing. This website is called Formware Online SDL Repair. We will include the links in the descriptions below. Without delay, we uploaded our broken SDL file to test it out. The auto repair starts automatically once we successfully upload the file. We can see the process undergoing inside the programs at the consoles. After several minutes, we are notified that the repair has been done. All we need to do for the next step is to download the fixed version of the SDL. We imported both failed and fixed SDL into Kira and make some comparison. As you can see, the weird red spots are now disappeared at the fixed version of the SDL. After slicing the SDL independently, we found out that the layers appear to be perfect at the preview. Even better, we found that the printing time being reduced a little. 
This is because the auto repair also helps to reduce the redundant vertices and surface with the program algorithms. This way, printer can avoid printing redundant points, saving us some of the printing time. With the SDL now being fixed, we proceed to print the model out again to see if the final printer part actually printed better. Well, we got it perfectly printed this time. The annoying gaps are being eliminated, while the rest of the details get printed flawlessly. To summarize, for our testing model, we are getting a very satisfying result out of the online tool. It solves our problem while keeping the rest of the detail just as similar as the one before the repair. However, we will recommend you to make a manual comparison every time after the repairing is done. This is because the program actually alters the contents of your files, so it is good to always check if any of your important details are not being filtered. Also, the program mentioned that if your files are in too bad condition, an auto repair might not be able to help with the fix. For that scenario, you will have to change your options to manually repair it in a CAD package. So, this will be the end of the video. We hope that our video helped to solve your printing problem too. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be a hero to save them from broken STL too. As always, thanks and happy printing!